in that last segment of the week once again. It's the wild card. It was wild last week. I bet y'all weren't expecting that conversation with the dogs. Um, <laughs> I know you're not expecting this one. And Fades doesn't know about this. So I have a genuine question for you, Fades. Do you okay. have tattoos? No. Why None. Have- Zero. So I want to know what you think about tattoos. That's the subject today. It's tattoos. So uh, Ooh, I want to know tattoos. Yeah, what you think about tattoos, why you don't have any. Yeah, walk me through it. Okay, so growing up, they were always available. Always available. We had some um, OG Vato named Spider who would always tear up my, uh, not Spider G, but another Vato named Spider. He used to always tear up my carnal, my actual brother, brother. And uh, it was always available. So I was like, ah, maybe later, you know? Yeah. And then then later came and then he's like, all right, you ready? And then I was about to, then I was like, hold on, let me give me more time to think about this. You know what I'm saying? Cause to me, it's not something I want to put just some random thing on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, so I was like, let me put some thought into this to see what I really would, would like to have on me, with me for the rest of my life. Yes. And I didn't have kids in or anything. so. There was nothing. Yeah. So then that just led to the next thing. And then, and right now at this point, it's like age. You feel like you're too old you know for I mean? tattoos? Yeah, I think I'm too there's old. No, there's dog. no age for tattoos. I mean, I don't think there's an age for tattoos. But I, that's because my, I've, I've lived in that lifestyle my whole life with tattoos. That's why. But go ahead. So you, so you don't, you don't think you're ever going to get tattoos now? No, 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 I won't. Fair. Yeah, nah, 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 at this era, te imaginas? Todo pinche viejo, todo pinche viejito con un pinche. I think we're, I think we're roughly the same age. I'm gonna go ahead and put it out to the to the interweb. I am 32 years old. Um, oh, I'm I older than you. Yeah, so I think well, we're roughly the same age, right? Um, we're in our 30s. I still get tattoos. If it wasn't because right now I'm in recovery mode, um, and I'm supposed to let my body heal, I'd probably be getting tattooed right now because it's it's close to me and here's the fun the funny part is i've had tattoos since i was 17 and also i could have gotten into it a lot younger because it's just like you it was always available like you know it was always yeah i I, as a as a chicano growing up in uh california you know in the early night or late 90s early 2000s um it was very much a part of our culture for us to get tattooed and unfortunately a lot of the time and what i lived through was you were getting tattoos that you're going to regret for the rest of your life um, exactly yeah. Puro pinche del barrio, you know yeah, see, and and shit. i want to give out a big shout out and i just want to say thank you to my older brother because my older brother saved me and kept me from getting stupid shit tattooed on me and he was blasted like and when i say blasted that's what we used to use i i've always said blasted tattoos some people think it's something else when i say blasted it's tattooed right so oh i was gonna say damn blasted yeah you know people think it's drunk right but he used to he he was hella blasted since he was younger he got tattoos since he was younger and it was good tattoos as well my brother has a lot of work done till today and he tattooed himself right so he was tattooing he had friends who tattooed at a shop everything like legitimately and I had the ability to get tattooed at any moment I wanted to. And I was living at one point in my life under a very dark mindset where I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, get this, this and that, my face and blah, blah. Mm-hmm. I can't imagine what would have happened if I would have gotten it, how much you it would have sh- impacted my life negatively. You should have put, you should have put six, nine right here, cabrón. <laughs> Let's not even get six- into that. No. I feel bitch is six, nine, yaki, 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 but uh, he saved me from getting stupid tattoos as I was younger. He actually gave me my first tattoo on my back. Um, and it's not my last name. Nothing against that. He has our last name on his back. But it was so stereotypical of you back in, well, today it now seems stereotypical for every Mexican out there to have their, ta- their last name tattooed on their back. Funny story. In Old English. In Old yeah, English. In Old English. <laughs> Fun fact, I still don't have my last name tattooed on me. And I have like 50 hours worth of work on my body. So You do? And you yeah. don't have your last name? 
I'm gonna need your, I'm gonna need your, I'm gonna need your, I'm gonna need your card back. <laughs> I know, right? No, nah, you lost your, you lost it. You lost it, fool. I'm How did I know you were gonna say that? Hey, okay, okay. Says all right, the all right, man hey, who doesn't have any tattoos. No, I don't have any tattoos. Yeah, but if I Facts. did have a tattoo, would it my be your first last tattoo? Name? Is gonna, it's gonna be my last. No, so here's the deal. Last name. You have a very interesting point, though. Is I also don't have a single tattoo that doesn't mean a lot to me, like that doesn't have a story that has some history behind it that has a genuine appeal of why I got it. All my t- I have a lot of words on me, like um, I don't have a lot of like I do have some artwork like on my arm. So I'll, just so y'all know, I have a half sleeve on my left arm. I have the top of my back done. I have a half sleeve on my right leg. So that's where the majority of my work is at, right? Um. But everything that I have for the most part is aside from like some artwork, I, I, the artwork that I got, which is I have a charra on my right hand side on my right leg, right? Um, which is all traditional Mexican uh, Aztec type of stuff, Chicano stuff on my right leg. And on my Chicano left arm, um, yeah, on my left arm, I have the, uh, did you grow up with that, uh, the guardian angel, El Cuadro del Guardian Angel with the two kids crossing the, the bridge? <sighs> yeah. Did you grow up with that in your household? Simone. Okay, so as Mexican kids or Chicano kids or people living in Mexico, because this is why I live in Mexico, that painting is always up in your house, right? Like, for mm-hmm. some reason, it lives in our households. And when I was a kid, fun fact is I had one of those in my room. And whenever, like, I was scared at night, I was a little kid, like, I, I was scared at night, right. whatever, right? My mom would be always tell me, it's like, hey, mijo, ahí está el ángel de la guardia. It's going to protect you. Don't worry about it. It wasn't that I was that religious, but to me, there was like a meaning behind it. Like that will protect me. I'm fine. This and that. I was going to get a portrait of my kids on my left arm because my left arm is all family related stuff. Um, mm-hmm. But I didn't want to do it. I was like, I feel like that's also pretty stereotypical. Nothing wrong with people who have portraits of their kids, but like everybody gets that. And it's really hard to get like a properly done portrait without paying like 30 G's. So I wanted to get something that represented like that peace of mind with my kids. So I actually got the Angel de la Guardia tied on my left arm and it has the little girl uh, taking care of her little brother which I have a little boy and an older uh, and, a, and a daughter who's older than him so it represents right, right. my kids to me you know what I mean so I'm, I'm digressing uh, not off the tattoo subject but in general all my tattoos have a big meaning behind them you I met so many people like you that like tattoos but can't it's not that they can't make their mind up but it's so hard for them to like say, I want to have this for the rest of my life on my body. And, and that was my mindset then. Now, no, like, no me importa, you know? Like, no, yeah. no me llama la atención. Yeah. For me, it does still till today. I tell my wife I'm doing it so that when my daughter is old enough to date the little boys that come to the house, I'm going to just be in a tank top fully blasted and just be like, oh, so you're taking my daughter out, eh? You know what I mean? <laughs> my wife's like, you're stupid. I'm like, I'm gonna have a shotgun next to me. And it's gonna, you know, I'm gonna make it a I'm gonna make it a point, you know, now, but oh, but see that know. that that's a that there, there is an implication which you just did, right? I know an assumption. 100%. So the Vato has tattoos, what he's hard? Yeah, no, I don't mean no. he's hard. Bro. And here's the funny part about that is till today, I still think people people say, Oh, tattoos are like, you know, nobody judges people because they have tattoos Gangsters. anymore. They don't judge certain people, but when you look like I do and you, you, you live, so I'll, I'll share with you where I live at the city. I live at not, not a ton of, uh, of Hispanic or Latino, uh, people live here. You know what I mean? I take my daughter to school since I was little, since she was little, sorry. And, uh, I was probably one of the only Mexican parents there. And one thing you'll know about me is when I'm at home chilling right now, I have a jacket on cause I'm trying to look presentable to y'all, but when I'm at home chilling, is I have, I'm wearing a tank top and shorts. And when I'm wearing a tank oh. top and shorts. Hey, hey, he looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Did yeah. Wait, did yeah, you know, the muscles come out. No, but I look, like, I look like I have a lot of tattoos. And <laughs> my, my favorite style of tattoo is Chicano style, like prison style Chicano oh, well. traditional. Oh, well. You know what I mean? So my tattoos look a little different than a koi fish with uh, some waves coming out of them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I would take my daughter to school and the first thing is everyone just staring me down. I'll share with you this messed up story is, uh, I'm not gonna say what grade, cause whatever, right? But one of my daughter's teachers never looked at me in the face in the 35 different interactions we ever had because she was genuinely afraid of me. Cause she's not used to dealing or talking to people that look like me. 
You know what I mean? Right. Um, and I, I try my best to not look and sound intimidating. You know what I mean? Uh, but apparently this lady thought I was extremely intimidating and a lot of it had to do probably with the fact that she saw I had a lot of tattoos. People still judge people because of tattoos. Same reason why in the back of my head, I still go over that story of don't get tattoos on your face. Don't get tattoos on your hands. I have one tattoo that you can see without its shirt and it's this cross right here. That's the only tattoo that I have that you can see if I was like, if I was wearing pants and a shirt, you can't see my other tattoos, maybe the bottom of my sleeve a little bit, but you can't see the rest of my tattoos, except for this one. There's a special meaning to this one. It's not really religious. Um, I won't get into that, but uh, there's a special meaning behind that, but most people can't see them. And it's for the same reason as like, I don't want to get hand tattoos. I don't want to get face tattoos because if I already get looked at this way and people interpret that interpret that in a certain way i can't imagine what would happen if i got more tattoos in the style that i like all over the you know the parts of my body that people can see every day mm. yeah 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 that's... i always wondered why if you had tattoos because i i don't i can't tell that you do but i had a feeling you didn't is that weird to judge that i didn't i thought you didn't have any tattoos no no fair no it's not weird yeah I mean, uh, probably because I'm Chicano, probably because I'm Chicano and I, and I did grow up like that. Yeah. Like it was all around me. Yeah. But uh, nah. They, plus, uh, honestly, I didn't think anybody was that good. Like that full spider, he was okay, but he wasn't that good. Uh, and and uh, all the homies would walk around with pinchy, like little, you know, when they used to tattoo the actual homies on them, the homie yeah, homies. Yeah, the homies, homies, so, the little block yeah. figurine thingies. And then the each line of that thing was like this thick, you know what I'm saying? There was no clean, sharp lines, full, and and they were all green, way right? they weren't black or any if, other color. They were like this message goes out to everyone as a ex tattoo artist. If you're gonna get tat, well, ex tattoo wannabe artist, rookie learning. Um, if you ever get tattoos, do your homework. Make sure the person who's tattooing you is using the right products, the right ink. Those green it's tattoos Indian are green for a reason. They gotta be. They're green for a reason. Uh, and that you do enough homework to know that you're the person who's going to tattoo you is going to do something on you that you're going to enjoy for the rest of your life. I've gotten tattooed right, by right. three people. One, my older brother, who did a, a, a good job on my back. Um, one by a, de- a dude down in San Jose who is a beast, beast of a tattoo artist. And most of my other tattoos were done by my brother-in-law. And my brother-in-law's work now speaks on its own. Um, when he first started, and like every other tattoo artist, wasn't that great but now and, and i'm putting this out because he knows that his work has had like has gotten a lot better throughout time and it's it's great now so now i let him tattoo whatever he wants on me not whatever he wants but whenever he wants on me if i were to get a tattoo for i would get it from uh, my homie spooky i have a homie named spooky but he moved to florida and now he don't even live in kansas city no more but spooky yeah. gets down for yeah. so but other than him no Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll leave it at that. But uh, my question is, do you think that there's an age limit since uh, Morales brought that up? Um, do you think that there's an age limit for you to get tattoos? Um, if do you have tattoos? I know I know a lot of people who watch our podcast, um, like through IG or YouTube or whatever. And I know that some of them have tattoos. What what made you want to start getting tattoos as well? You know what I mean? I want to know that. Um, and yeah, we'll leave, leave it, it down in the comments below. Leave it down in the comments below. This is the last segment too for this week, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So I mean, another another week, another dollar. No, there's no dollars being made here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, another week, uh, another desperdicio de tiempo yeah, a la chingada. No, 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 no. We have fun. <laughs> I hope y'all are having fun with us. Um, a lot more to come in the future. We're gonna try to keep it consistent, but we're gonna try to make it different every week as well. Right. You know, stay active in the comment section.